If you're looking for the best family-friendly area in Phoenix, you're going to want to listen to this video. We've got the top five family-friendly areas. Hey, welcome back, guys. And if you're first time here, welcome. Glad to have you. If you're wondering everything there is to know about living, breathing, sleeping, everything that you want to know about the Phoenix metro area, you're in the right spot. I'm Josh. And I'm Barbara. And we are the Select Realty Group here. Well, we honestly, we get so many calls from people that are looking to move to the Phoenix area. And we've lived here for over 30 years. So we just love the area. We love sharing our knowledge with you. We want you to uh, be able to get the information that you need. So if you are looking for a home here, you can be assured that we're gonna be able to help you find it. So what we need you to do though, is you need to give us a call, send us a text, a DM, an email, however you wanna reach out to us, we're here for you. And we wanna be able to answer all your questions. So when we said this is the top five areas for families in Phoenix, first of all, this is in our list. This list comes from niche.com. So as real estate professionals, we can't really direct you to a best place because a best place for you might not be the same as a best place for me. So we're going to niche.com and we're gonna find those top five areas that they suggest as the best family friendly areas in the Phoenix area. Number five on the list is Paradise Valley and Paradise Valley, according to niche, is rated A. A lot of people that live here kind of like the sort of the rural lifestyle that you can get by living in Paradise Valley. The homes are larger and they are on much bigger lots. So you, if you're looking for a little bit of space, but yet you're close to, uh, you know, shopping and downtown and things like that, and Paradise Valley might be a great option for you. They have great public schools. Uh, niche gives them an A rating, uh, an A for good for families, uh, B for crime and safety, an A minus for nightlife. And then they get a C for housing and a C plus for diversity. Now, PV gets a C for housing because of the sheer price of the homes. According to Niche, the median home value is 1.66 million. And then um, about 94% of people own homes in the area with only 6% renting. And the median rent is a little over $3,100. So again, that is quite pricey for homes and they do definitely go significantly up from there from over five to over 10 million as well for these homes. They are mostly larger custom homes on very large lots. So if that's something you're looking for, it's a great area. Now, number four on the list is the Desert Ridge area. And this area also gets an A. They are rated A for their public schools, B plus for housing, A for families, and a B for nightlife. Now, their nightlife here rated a little bit lower than PV, uh, just because it's a bit further away from the downtown and old town areas, although you still have High Street and Desert Ridge Marketplace themselves. And then they are rated B plus for housing, as the average housing prices here are much more affordable than Paradise Valley. Um, according to niche.com, they are rated at, um, I'm sorry, their medium home value is 460,000 with the uh, average rent being about 1,900 per month and about 75% of people own properties up here in Desert Ridge. Yeah, I think the reason that the median value is a little bit lower in this, or quite a bit lower actually in this area is because there's a lot more condos that are available in this area, which tends to bring the price of the homes down. Also the lots and the homes in this area are quite a bit smaller than they are in Paradise Valley. So hence you can get a lot more home for your money here, just not quite as conveniently or centrally located as the Paradise Valley area is. Next up on the list is Chandler with an overall niche grade of A as well. Living in Chandler, most of the residents, this is more of a suburban lifestyle. So mostly uh, single family homes out in this area, though there are some uh, apartment, condo complexes in this area. So there's many families and young professionals that live in Chandler. It is a, located in what we call the Silicon Desert. So there's a lot of high tech facilities that are in this area. So people that live here tend to gravitate towards this area if they're working in high tech, especially like the Intels, uh, microchips, and those types of facilities that are located 
very, very convenient to Chandler. Now, Niche gives them an A plus for the public schools, a B plus for housing, A for good for families, and a B plus for nightlife, although they do give them a C plus for crime and safety. Now, Chandler's average home price is a little bit less than Desert Ridge, significantly less than Paradise Valley, with uh, the average being 324 and a half thousand. And with the median rents being just under 1400 Now, there are more renters in the Chandler area due to a lot of the businesses coming. Um, some of the people living there just come for the season or come for work or just outside of high school or college. Although, they uh, do have a wide variety of their home types here from condos and townhomes to single family homes and everything in between. Yeah, so I think uh, in general, when there's an area that's a little bit more affordable, you do tend to have more people that um, are renters rather than homeowners. Um, so that is something to consider uh, if you're looking for a home in the Chandler area. Now, number two on the niche list is Gilbert, Arizona, and it is rated an A according to niche.com. And they also give them an A for their public schools, B plus for housing, a for Goodwood families, a B minus for crime and safety, and B for nightlife. Yeah, so a lot of uh, Gilbert is offers, it's, uh, I would say it's a more of a bedroom community than uh, some of the other areas that we've spoken about today. A lot of people that live there, they just, there's not a lot of high tech or a huge amount of businesses in this area. So it tends to be mostly, you know, people live there and then they might have to do a little bit of a commute to other places. So the lots in Gilbert, um, there it's a little bit newer community. So a lot of homeowners associations that have been developed and they're built around the parks and the communities and the schools. So again, Gilbert is an excellent area if you're looking for a great area for your family. And the average home price over here in Gilbert is right about 348,000. So more definitely one of the more affordable areas in Phoenix Metro. Now, number one on the niche list is Awatuki, or as locals call it, Tuki. Yeah, this is rated A plus by niche.com. And one of the reasons that it's rated so high is it's an area that they call it the biggest cul-de-sac in the Phoenix metro area. And it's not really a cul-de-sac, but there's a huge horseshoe shaped street that kind of goes through the community and there's homes on both sides of it. It's tucked on the south side of South Mountain, yet it's really convenient to the freeways. So you can easily get into Chandler, um, you can get into downtown Phoenix and with the new 202 loop that goes around you can get easily into the West Valley. So there's a lot of young professionals that tend to live in this area. People that are looking for uh, great schools because their schools are rated A. Um, so yeah, this is just a perfect area. Niche also has our housing rated B plus, uh, good for families rated A, uh, and nightlife rated B minus. They also have South Mountain, as Barbara mentioned, excellent for hiking and other trails. They have some uh, horse ranches right around there too. Generally just a great area, good location. Yeah. Not great for light, night life as you, as you saw by their score, but if you're looking for outdoor activities, this is a, a wonderful community. They've got hiking, They there's lots of parks and recreational areas that are available very, very close. Yep, and uh, their average home value is right about 371000 so still one of the more affordable ones, but a little bit pricier than uh, the previous few we mentioned. Um, less than Desert Ridge and less than PV, however, but more than Chandler or Gil. Well, that's the niche.com list, so let us know what did you like, what other areas would you like to learn more about? These are just a few of the areas in the Phoenix Metro. So just comment down below what your favorite spot in the Phoenix Metro is. And we'd love to hear from all of you guys. Again, this is only from Niche, but just let us know. Yep. And then if you have any questions, please give us a call. We're just here to help and help you find your ideal spot and ideal community here in the Phoenix Metro. So you just gotta give us a call, send us a DM, shoot us a text, email works, or even a carrier pigeon. Maybe find a lizard or something like that. I don't know, but you know. Well, but anyway. give us a call. Anyway, let us know. We're here to help you. Well, and if you haven't already, make sure you please subscribe. Hit that like button. If you haven't already, 
Make sure to hit the bell, get notified of all our future content coming up as we upload every week. See ya.